Diane Keaton is most well known as an Oscar winning actress in classic films and at age 71 she hasn't slowed down. When she's not busy working, one of her favorite hobbies is flipping houses, with a long history of buying, redesigning and selling luxury properties which are all very different. For instance, in 2018, Diane snagged an adobe style estate in Tucson, Arizona and decked it out with brick floors, beamed ceilings and cozy southwestern style furniture, placing it up for sale in 2020. Meanwhile, her main home in Brentwood, LA is a Pinterest inspired modern farmhouse. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Diane Keaton in her trademark suits and turtlenecks is best known for being a Hollywood icon with a career spanning six decades. The actress is also noted for her sense of fashion, popularizing high-waisted pants, hats and more. Over her many years acting, she has starred in films like like Annie Hall, The Godfather, and a handful more recently, not to mention collecting plenty of awards along the way. Diane's success also led her to earning a net worth of about $100 million, which she also likes to spend on one of her favorite hobbies, real estate and design. Yes, Diane likes to flip homes and her love affair with home design began back in the 1970s. She explains about her first home after starring in Annie Hall. It was one of those remarkable apartments. There was a window on every side. Everything was wide open. That was the beginning of my true interest in architecture. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and while Diane Keaton clearly likes to bounce around from address to address while house flipping, we're gonna check out a few of her stunning properties here for you on Famous Entertainment. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. First, let's take a look at Diane's current home, an 8,000 square foot residence located in the area of Sullivan Canyon, just near Brentwood, California. Sullivan Canyon is the name of a trail in the same neighborhood high up in the Santa Monica Mountains of Los Angeles, which offers wildflowers, other beautiful native plants, and a variety of outdoor activities. Diane's home can be described as a modern farmhouse style with rustic and vintage touches throughout. And while looking at the impressive all brick exterior, you might be surprised to know that Diane handpicked the 75,000 bricks it took to construct it. In 2017, Diane released her third book on interior design, The House That Pinterest Built, which showcased her very own Sullivan Canyon abode. As you might guess from that title, it was Pinterest that inspired her vision for the design of this home. Diane told Architectural Digest, I'm still in love with Pinterest. To me, it's soothing because you're also on a hunt. Her home is extremely unique and somewhat industrial style. It's full of wide open spaces and bright natural lights. Diane opted for commercial windows like they have in factory buildings as we can see in the photos because the actress also isn't a fan of curtains. She said about the windows, they're more high up. It just brings astonishing light and it's always changing. It's very magical to me. We can see the main living area is a mix of rustic and modern with soaring wood beam ceilings and white brick walls, as well as a minimalistic vibe. There's also a built-in fireplace on one wall. In some Instagram videos, we've gotten a peek at other areas in Diane's home. There are plenty of custom barn doors throughout that roll in on antique looking hardware, but this makes it hard to tell which details are actually vintage or that have been recreated. Diane also has a super spacious kitchen and keeps the farmhouse style with chicken coop accents here. The cabinets are faced with chicken wire, while below the wood ceiling beams and skylights are literal chicken coops that have been rebuilt into pendant light. Other features of her kitchen kitchen include vintage appliances like pizza peels, an oversized farmhouse sink and a large island. Nearby you'll also find the bright dining room which you can access through an all brick hallway. Other features include a stylish black and white master bath and an outdoor patio with fireplace. And Diane's home might be easy on the eyes, but it's also nearly indestructible. The actress's home is reportedly earthquake resistant and fireproof, which Diane explains in a cute story, stating the three little pigs was her inspiration. 
Her mother used to read her this story as a little girl. In 2020, a home in Tucson, Arizona popped up on the market for $2.6 million owned by a Diane herself, which she also gave an extensive makeover. Clearly, she loves to flip high-end and historic abodes, and this adobe-style desert home was no different. She purchased this estate for $1.5 million back in 2018, located in the Barrio Viejo neighborhood, and it boasts exposed plaster walls, brick floors, and high beam ceiling. From before photos, we can see how much Diane truly improved the home into a super stylish residence. This one-of-a-kind desert oasis offers 4,572 square feet of space inside, along with four bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms. Originally built in 1900, the Sonoran Row style home is long and low to the ground, which is typical of these residences, and was bought in 2014 for 330 k by a couple who spent four years on a serious reno and expansion. Aside from the main house, there's a separate one bed, one bath guest house with full kitchen and two bonus rooms that could be used for an office or studio. While the home had been fully restored, the original walls and details were left intact keeping its character and charm. While the exterior of the single level home is long and unique, inside it's super homey and welcoming. The living areas are fashionable with a desert chic design inspired by the natural surroundings. Diane's upgrades made the interiors more sophisticated and she also added a large swimming pool making the abode perfect for vacations or a relaxing getaway. The entryway has a mix of rustic elements like brick, straw, and mud utilizing the outdoor elements. The southwestern style home has wide plank wooden floors inside and exposed adobe walls, while the living and dining room are combined into a 36 foot long space with a row of clerestory windows. The Eden kitchen in the main house offered high ceilings with wood beams and multiple pendant lights, along with a large wooden prep island with space to sit and eat. Elsewhere in the home, there were some cozy sitting rooms and a library. The bedrooms in Diane's adobe style home weren't over decorated, boasting minimal furniture and exposed brick walls, while the master had a vintage double sink and vanity, an open shower and a clawfoot tub. On the grounds, there were a variety of courtyards, partly shaded with trees and protected with high walls, making it easy to dine or lounge outdoors. Next to the oversized swimming pool, there was also an open air shaded cabana. Before we wrap up this video, let's look at another home Diane flipped and sold located in Pacific Palisades. Back in 2015, this home came on the market for $6.9 million after Diane purchased it in 2012 for $5.6 million and put the home through some cost cosmetic changes, but nothing seriously drastic. Among these updates, she painted the walls, got new light fixtures, changed some of the kitchen, and made the interior design more chic with a lot of black and white, a color scheme we know the actress likes. The colonial style mansion was set in the El Medio Bluffs neighborhood of Pacific Palisades, Los Angeles, and inside covered 7,800 square feet of space with six beds and six baths. The main level of the home boasted dark wood flooring and there was a double height entry hall with curved staircase right when walking in. Nearby, this floor also boasted a formal dining room and formal living room with fireplace, which both offered walls of glass opening to the wraparound porch. The home was very modern after Diane's interior design rehaul and there was also a large family sized Eden kitchen with top of the line appliances including double fridge and freezer and large island. This was attached to an easygoing family room with built-in wet bar and fireplace which led out to the yard. The master suite was on the upper level with a few of the guest rooms but it was no doubt the most impressive fully stacked with a fireplace, private terrace, walk-in closet, and master bath, with everything from a built-in makeup vanity to separate area for the shower. Since this home had three floors, the basement was expansive and fully finished. There were much more amenities down here like a large library with floor-to-ceiling bookshelves and doors up to a winding staircase that led up to the yard. There was also a walk-in wine cellar, home gym, home movie theater, and staff suite down here. The roof of the Pacific Palisades home had its very own stone tiled terrace with mountain views, while the backyard had its own stone terraces, one with fireplace and built-in barbecue. Also out back, there was a swimming pool with spa. 
All right, well now we've taken a look at the homes of Diane Keaton, so I think that wraps up this house tour. After checking out some of her current home, as well as two other places she owned and decorated, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? It's obvious the woman has an eye for design, but her homes are all very different. My personal pick was the Adobe style property in Arizona. It was just so historic and unique. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.